Oh my god, guys. So, hello. Also, I have my hair straightened for once. I never had my hair straightened. I thought I'd just point that out there. So today, I'm going to show you guys how I apply my false eyelashes because I get asked this a lot. And I thought I'd just do a video on it because I did film a video on it a long time ago and I lost the footage. So I haven't actually filmed one since. But a lot of people ask what ones I use and like what ones are best for your eyes and stuff. And I'm going to show you guys what I use and which ones are good and which ones like are better quality. And yeah, let's just get started. <laughs> I've literally done all my makeup. I've just got a bit of lip balm on slash gloss. I don't really know what it is. It's this cute little one from Technic. I actually ordered it in strawberry. It's like a roll-on lip gloss, but I actually can't even feeling them at the moment. Um, <clears throat> the eyelashes I'm using are about three pound on eBay for a set of five. I will show you guys. These aren't mink ones because I don't like mink ones. Like obviously because of the animal thing, but they are all different shapes. So um, different like fluffiness as you could say, I guess. Um, I'm going to go in with the pair above the bottom. They're sort of gapped ones, but I love these sort of lashes. But these are like easier to apply than the like really fine band ones I've found out now. Although I used to think the GWA ones are best to start with. The fantasy ones are what I started with. You don't need to cut them down. They're £3 a packet and they're amazing. They look good. They do so many different sort of shapes and sizes. And yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how I pop these ones on every day. First thing you want to do is obviously take the lashes off the like band thing. Okay, these look way too long for my eyelashes, which they clearly are too long for my eyelids, not eyelashes. Um, I'm going to cut mine down to how I normally would and like about the size. Oh my God. I really need to start washing my scissors again because they get eyelashes stuck in them all the time. So I cut mine down quite a bit because as you can see, I have quite small eyelids. So mine are cut down quite a lot. I'm just going to pop that on there and then quickly do the other one. Okay, so I've cut them down. <clears throat> Next thing I'm gonna do is show you guys the glue because obviously I didn't get glue included with these. Excuse my throat, it's really hurting today. I'm not very well. I keep getting sick in the mornings after I eat breakfast and I really don't know why. And guys, I am not pregnant before you ask. <clears throat> so the glue I'm using is actually Poundland glue. They do a set of two of these obviously for a pound and it's very, very strong. It lasts all day. It's the strongest glue I've come across. Um, other glues I like using personally and get along with is the GWA glue, which I get along with. Actually, Primark's glue, which is a pound, which you I think you could probably buy separately or you buy with like the set of lashes. Um, that's quite a strong glue, so I'm just gonna pop mine along uh, the lash line. I always put extra at the ends because it's just easier for when they stick down. I'm gonna show you some weird trick in a minute and you're probably gonna be like, what the hell? I mean, if you do it at home, please let me know. I don't wanna be like the only one that does this. So comment below and let me know. I put quite a lot of glue on because I get worried, especially with like quite a lot of eyeshadow on. And what I'm gonna do is pop this and balance it here. So I always stick something on the end of the lashes so it sticks up and doesn't stick to like the surface I'm using on that. And I'm just gonna put glue on the other band. I've got to wait for this to dry as well so you guys don't stick. I made this mistake first time I ever wore lashes when I was about 16. I let the, I literally thought, oh, the, the glue, you just stick it on and put it on your lash line. No, that's not how it works. You can't just stick false eyelashes straight on. That's your, that's where you're going wrong straight away. Like, I mean, I leave my lashes for about three to five minutes to like go tacky and then it's the best way to glue them on. Okay, I think I've got enough in the end because this is a clear glue and it's a thicker lash band, I can't see. So I'm just gonna pop that there and use, I'm just gonna use my old eyeshadow to balance it. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, so while that's um, happening, let's get on to the next step. Also, guys, can you hear that? So quiet, apart from my squeaky chair. Theo is asleep. So for the next step, I'm gonna do a very thin line across my lash line because I like to use eyeliner as a guide. I haven't really done it for a while without. And it like, I find eyeshadow with my eyelids, I don't know if anyone else gets this, it stops the glue from sticking down. So if I put like liner on, it kind of just smooths it out. So I'm just gonna do a really fine line along my lash band. Okay, 
Okay, so now that's done, <clears throat> as you can see, I've just done a really fine line. It doesn't matter if it's messy or anything because you're literally just going to cover it up with the eyelashes anyway. It's just an easier guide. If you want to do winged eyeliner, do winged. But if you know me, I don't really like winged eyeliner. I kind of, don't know, it makes my eyes look smaller. I occasionally do it. I can do winged eyeliner. I think I have a tutorial on my channel on winged eyeliner hacks. Go check that out. But um, I kind of just like the basic eyeshadow and like eyelashes look at the moment. I'm trying out different colours. I'm not sure if I'm feeling this eyeshadow today or not. But I thought I'd do something different and give it a bit of a smoky effect. So let me know. One of my lashes is tacky enough now. I can put it on. I always start with my right eyelash. I'm not really sure why. It's just sort of a preference. I literally pinch it with my index finger and my thumb. And I always start by, I look down into my mirror. It's so much easier. And, oh my god, my hair's getting in the way. I always have it tied up normally. And start with the inner corner and push it down. And then kind of just bend it round always works for me. And just keep pushing at each corner until it sticks enough. And then I leave it to settle so like it dries onto the lash band or line before I do anything else with it. So there's one done. Oh my god, look at the difference when I put lashes on. Like, oh damn. We're going to leave that for a minute before we even touch anymore. I'm just going to push on it a little bit. Just to make sure it's in place. Because I don't want it to be, like, wonky or anything. So, obviously, I cut mine down quite a bit. You can see I have tiny eyelids. But I'm just going to wait for the other one to dry. And I'll be right back. But hopefully the other lash is now drier. I've left it for a few minutes again. Because it kind of just flopped. So... Okay, the glue dripped a bit. This should be fine though, like you can wash these. If you want to see how I wash my lashes, then let me know as well in the comments. I'm just trying to open my mirror so I can show you guys how I do the second one. Which is pretty much the same, just on the other eye. Okay, I'm going to leave them to set for a minute. My left one is still setting, my right one is done. So what you want to do, this is so important. People forget this and this is what makes them look a bit more realistic. I mean, nobody is going to have like 10, 10 lashes like this naturally. I mean, if you do, then that's impressive. But you want to get like your pinky and your pinky, your, your this finger, I want to say index finger and your thumb. And you're going to pinch your lashes together, like your natural ones and obviously your false ones. And this just really helps them like stick together and you can't see your natural lashes underneath as much but we'll get onto that on the next step I'm still waiting for the other one to step as you can see so far like i mean they've stuck down pretty good kind of proud of myself but it's taken me like quite a few months to get used to wearing lashes and stuff but like after a while when you get the hang of it you'll be fine also onto the last step of this you want to get your mascara and literally just put it on how you normally would it just helps bond the lashes together so they sort of stick all day too and makes them look just so much better. I mean, if you want to put it on the end, you can. I didn't actually mean to do that. These are quite naturally fluffy, so I don't have to. But I like to put a bit of mascara on. Did my mascara on my bottom lashes off camera. I mean, my eyelashes aren't perfect. Like, I mean, I'm no 10-10 professional. But that is how I apply my lashes. I do wear them most days. I've had quite a lot of practice with different, like, designs and shapes and, like, thick and thin bands. And personally, I prefer to wear thin ones most of the time because thick ones all the time are just too dramatic. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Go click subscribe for more, like, tutorials and stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next video.